Yeah, that's how you do it. You don't have a tractor, you don't have a truck with spikes. You roll the bales manually. It's actually very doable. I don't even know how many we have done like this. Quite a few. filling the upside vinegar water even though it is getting lower because with how cold it's going to be that's going to freeze a whole lot more than this bigger tank so we're just not going to worry about that until the temperatures warm back up.
well as you can see I'm very bundled up it's because it is eight degrees outside it is morning the next morning from the clips that you saw of us getting things ready for the horses for this cold spell so what we did to get them ready for this cold spell is we put out a round bale with no hay net on it uh, we put hay in the barn we mucked up the barn because we figured they'll be in here quite a bit so I wanted to clean for them filled up the water drained the hose so that it won't be full of ice when we need it again um, we uh, soaked extra alfalfa last night that they're getting this morning and they're going to get extra later today as well and for a few days because of how cold it is just to help make sure that they're getting the amount of um, energy that they need from their food you know to compensate for what they are burning because they're going to burn extra calories uh, in the cold so making sure we meet that with their feed so that they won't get thin and so that they won't get cold and stay comfortable so they are hanging out in the barn. They did not eat all the hay we put in here last night, so that's nice. We don't have to give them more this morning. Um, but we put that round bale out largely because um, if we had the hay net on it, it would probably be hard and frozen right now because of the snow and how cold it is, the moisture mixed with how cold it is. So you don't want that to happen because then they couldn't eat the hay. And then also because this way they can just they can stuff in the hay if they wanted to. So just to make sure they can just stuff it in if they want. Um, but they're good to go. Pete's shivering just a little bit, but that's actually nothing to freak out about because it's a natural bodily function to get warm. And what we find is when we give them the alfalfa in no time, they quit the shivering and they're warmed back up nicely. So, but again, don't freak out about that because that's their body doing what it's supposed to do to get warm. Uh, just make sure that they have their shelter, they have their hay, uh, the extra alfalfa, and of course their winter coats. Make sure they have their winter coats. <laughs> uh, and they'll be good to go. So hanging out here waiting for them to finish up their alfalfa and then we'll be heading back up soaking more alfalfa for later so if you want to learn all about caring for horses in the winter time keeping them healthy and happy so that they don't get thin they're cold um, I'm gonna link a video below that will be made by the time this goes out uh, about how to care for your horses in the winter time how to make sure that they stay healthy and happy it's really quite simple and we were doing what we go over in that video in this video getting our horses ready, but we go into more detail in that video if you'd like to learn all about it. So I'll link that below in case you want to check it out. So you can see the snow on top of him. This isn't actually a problem. You might wonder if that's a problem and like going to make him really cold, but no, because he's sitting on top of his coat and he's got all his coat underneath of it. That's not getting down to his skin, so it's really not a problem. I hope you found this video helpful and interesting, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye!